longevity in the sport is almost unheard of. How have you been able to maintain this level of competitiveness? And you see this in other sports have changed interest to maintain the, the novelty. You know, I started out traditionally road running and then uh, got into trail running and then increased the distance. So, and then there was getting into FDTs, which, you know, has been really exciting because there's so many areas to explore there. tough as they've ever been because people are running and training all year round if you take like a bell curve of those stats you're actually seeing faster times because people are stronger they're more resilient and it's because they they like this stuff and they're coming out to it and it's like you know I want to be part of that fun so they're training all year round and, and running all year round and it's just you know it's it's good to see the community always growing you got the steady faces that you saw three four years ago you know that were always there as part of like a, a key group but then you've got more and more faces that are becoming familiar throughout the last recent years and it's growing and beyond that people are bringing their friends and I mean I don't know it's just really what runs all about so I'm not hoarded. Yeah, Jay. Alright. Ah. Job, Lipsy. Stone arch bridge and then another right off the bridge. And you're going to do a counterclockwise loop. All day, baby. So I'll speed it up. Man of two is getting his revenge today. <laughs>
Look at those pairs. Oh, nice. Just be soon. How's your micro spikes working out? <laughs>